Okay, um, to import a stock take file uh, into smart system without a stock take data collector um, is actually not difficult but there are some steps you need to go through so okay we need a few things to be you know, prepared before you start doing the things first thing of course uh, you're going to have an excel file with all the stock that you have counted the stock balance uh, and you actually get the stock excel file in this format where the first column will be the counter uh, remember all will be in caps eh? capital letter so this will be your counter it will be exactly so one excel file one counter don't mix counter different counter in the same excel file second of course of course this will be the barcode remember this is barcode not stock code not stock id this is barcode so having barcode into this second column the third column would be actually the um, quantity the stock balance that you have stock that you have counted and the fourth column will be the date of where you do the stock take so it will be in a specific format where you know um, in this format you can see 2014 year 07 month and 08 will be day so you have this file ready save it so when you save it you have to save as a comma separated value file right remember comma separated value yeah so it uh, doesn't matter i'm using mac or you know you're using windows or it's actually the same thing so save it to somewhere where you can access or you remember and give the file a name so let's say we have it uh, hq stock take uh, hq stock take uh, or read okay so right just save it so now you need this program we call csved okay this program you can actually download from you know just google search and basically you can go to download.com and search for csvd just download the program so once you download run the program and no run the program and open the file you know we have saved the file just now so this is hq stock take ori open it so now you have column one two three four as in this order so remember we actually smart recognize the files in a specific format where you know um, in a fixed length we call it so before we actually go and have this thing ready we have to add a comma okay we have to add a comma so because it's actually comma separated value so i have to add a comma so actually i just go to this uh we call it the modify okay i will add a suffix okay suffix so add prefix or suffix basically you can see here so i will want to add a suffix a comma to column one and i add the value so you will see this thing here okay um but actually i do it wrongly you shouldn't do it this way you should just let me close it don't save it and open again so i should actually add a prefix at column two right with all the comma here and on column three i have a prefix of comma as well and on column four same thing we have the comma so that means we have hq comma barcode comma quantity comma and the date so once we are done with these steps the next step is actually go to fixed length okay so fixed length the first column is 10 second column is 31 why 31 basically because the barcode column is 30 but we, we need to add one comma in here so basically it's 31 okay and the third column is 13 one three plus one because of the comma so 14 
and the fourth column just leave it as one right so once we are done with this thing just save file with fixed length view uh sorry just you know press this three small dot and then i save it on the desktop hq stop hit final save it right so now we save the file let's come back to the desktop and let me open up the file um stop take final stop take final this is actually a csv file i'm gonna open with uh, open with the uh, let's see not pack right so if you look at this carefully one two three four five six seven eight nine ten we have ten space here comma one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten thirty and this quantity column should be thirteen one three one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and this would be just nice to the to the last you know last characters so let's go to the bottom of the file and it should be you see there's one extra line here you can see here okay the cursor should be moved up and then when you press arrow right arrow you cannot actually go further down right so just save the file close it and i go to my smart i go to inventory stop take insert a new stop take. remember the counter and the date must be the same as the file that we have created just now generate the files i mean all the items from the systems and browse for the file that i've created just now it's actually on desktop sec drive and we have the stop tape uh, where is the file sec drive desktop i can't find the file Never mind. let's copy the files to here Um, this is actually stop. Just stop. Stop. Tick. Final. Mm, where is the file? I think it's actually on this computer. I mean, the, the, the Windows computer. Just stop. Okay. Just just hold on. I'll, I'll pause it for a while. It's actually not here. Oh, uh, okay. Because the file format will still be a CSV file, so rename it to TXT. Right. Done. And let's browse the file again on the Zac Drive desktop. Yep. Found it. Open and import yes so data import completed so let's click on the new balance in here so it's, as you can see all this quantity are the one that actually in the file right just give you a comparison uh, we have this okay nine three one one nine three Desktop, desktop. Ah, doesn't matter. But this is how we do how we do it, yeah. Okay. So then just save it and you update the quantity accordingly. Right. That's it. That's simple.